When you make compost at home, it all doesn't break down at the same time, and some of it is ready before the rest. So if you want to sift out those pieces that could use more time in the compost bin, you need to make a compost sifter. In today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. Make a sifter like this in a matter of minutes with many of the parts that you already have at home. Compost is the best soil amendment you can add to your garden, so it only makes sense that you would be anxious to use it there. And you don't have to wait until all those pieces are uniform in size. But if that's your preference, then you might want to use a compost sifter. That's what I've used for years, and this is that very one. And I'm going to show you how to make your own with a lot of the parts that you probably already have around the house. Here's how you make it. To make this sifter, you only need some 2x4 pieces, some wood screws, I like 3 inch length, some hardware cloth, I like one by one inch squares, a tool to cut the wire, and some nailable staples to secure the wire to the frame. Now there's no real rule on what size to make the sifter other than the fact that I think it needs to be large enough to sit firmly on top of whatever it is you're sifting into. Like for me, that would be the garden cart. But you also don't want it to be so big that it's awkward and bulky to work with. And I found that a two by three foot sifter works great. The first step is to assemble the frame. To make use of the wire without cutting its width, make the end pieces 25 inches and then screw those pieces into the longer lengths of 2x4. Once the frame is assembled, cut and secure the hardware cloth with the nailable staples and cut off any excess wire where necessary. And now the best part, when we put our sifter to work. Add some compost to the top and then work your hands across it so that what falls through is perfectly uniform in size and what remains goes back into the compost bin to continue to break down, but it all gets used into the garden eventually. But for just a few dollars and just a few minutes, you'll have a tool that you'll use often for years to come. <laughs> 